This is breaking news from Channel 7 Action News. We're following breaking news tonight on the death of former Red Wings player Bob Probert. His family confirming his death and speaking with reporters today. Good evening. Probert collapsed during a boating trip on Lake St. Clair. He was only 45 years old. Tom Lydon is here now with the latest on the breaking story. Tom? Details still unfolding as we go along. Bob Probert, though, the ultimate enforcer, one of the most famous tough guys in NHL history. He is dead today at the age of 45. He was on a boat in Lake St. Clair, complained of chest pains, collapsed, lost consciousness. An emergency call was made between 2 and 3 p.m. The boat was rushed to shore. Paramedics met the boat, immediately began performing CPR. Probert never regained consciousness. Proby was one of those gritty, tough-nosed players who won the hearts of Red Wings fans from the outset. You knew every night, despite what may have been going on in his life off the ice, he was going to give you 100%. He'd back up his teammates. He would step in to right or wrong. He was not a guy you would cross. He lived a tough life, and that life unfortunately cut short today as number 24 passes away at the age of 45. Our Cheryl Choden joins us live now from Windsor Regional Hospital, where Probert's family addressed the media a short time ago. Cheryl, what can you tell us? What a, well, what a sad day, Tom, really. This was very brief. It was a good friend and the father-in-law of Rob Probert. They did talk to the media just hours after this happened. We lost Bob today. He was out on a boat with his family, with his children, with his father-in-law and mother-in-law. Developed severe chest pains around 2 o'clock and was not able to be saved. This is a tragedy for the family. Uh, we ask that you respect their privacy at this time. This was totally unexpected. Uh, Bob lost the fight of his life this afternoon, and uh, the family's entitled to their peace right now. Now, we're actually told the father-in-law who was on the boat tried to administer CPR as they were going to shore. Of course, he never regained consciousness. Very sad day for the Probert family. They said that funeral arrangements, of course, are incomplete. This just happened. They said they'll let the media know when they are complete. Our thoughts go out to the family tonight. Reporting live at Windsor Regional Hospital, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. Oh, sad day and such a shock. And when you have a guy like that who's been through problems, very yeah. well publicized right. problems, right. you know, people in Detroit love to see guys overcome those problems. Yeah. And he seemed to have his life back on track. Just so sad because he was somebody who you could relate to, somebody who could really just you know, hang on to as one of your right. guys. And he remained a, a favorite of so many Red Wing fans over the years. Yeah, yeah he'll be missed.